Hey guys, the video that I'm going to be doing this week is another makeup collection because things have definitely changed and grown since my last makeup collection and I've gotten lots more product and I feel that um, this video is very popular and I feel that I should do another one. Um, so this is my vanity. I remodeled it over the weekend. There's going to be a lot more changes to this vanity or I might just get a total new one but this is what it looks like now. Um, this is where I keep my face washes. This is the glow mist that everybody keeps asking me about. I love this stuff. As you can well see, look at how much I've used. This is like amazing. It, it's a brightening mist. So you get vitamin C glow boosting. It, I got this at Target. It was It's awesome. Um, this is the current um, fragrance mist I'm using. It's the Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals. I love this stuff. As you can see, I'm almost out. I gotta get another one. But yeah, these are the um, facial cleansers I use. I love this one. This is really good for when you're just removing your makeup. Or when I want, I want something more, I use this one. This one's also really good. This removes makeup, cleanses, and tones. This one's really good. My old classic, as always, is this one. This one's my favorite. It brightens. It is a foam cleanser. I love this. This I will keep buying over and over again. And this is, I use this when I want something gentle and just to hydrate my skin. I also use this to wash my brushes and my sponges. This is cleans everything. I love this. This one. This I got in an Ipsy. I love it. But yeah, this one's really good. I love these. I just keep them right here next to my desk. And this, the reason I have this here is I keep reminding myself to buy some more. I got this in the Ipsy. It's a coffee scrub. This left my skin so soft. I loved it. This is okay. I'm not really fond of the scent, but it's okay. I'm more I use it the more I get used to the scent but I don't really like it that much but it's okay uh, this I'm using kind of like for skincare this is not what's in here this is something else I just kept the bottle this is hand sanitizer these are um set of scrubbies not scrubbies these are scrub face facial scrubs I got these for a buck at Target they work really good. They get the dead skin off. I love them on my face. This is the hand lotion I'm using. These I got at my local Dollar Tree. I love them. I haven't used them yet, but I know I will love them. I can't wait to try them out. These I just like them because they're decorative. And this is what my husband got me for Christmas and did the box. I think it's hilarious. These are just some masks. These are really good to exfoliate. And this is what I'm using to, ex to um, exfoliate my mat. To um, not exfoliate, to um, as a scrubber, as a skin scrubber on my face until I run out. I'm, I, I mix back and forth before this and this. I mix back and forth. But yeah. Um, these are my pencils. These are lip liners. These are eyeliners. These are chubby pencils. These are obviously Q-tips. This is what I use every day to remove my makeup. I just bought another one. I got this at my local Dollar Tree. It removes all of my makeup. It's gentle on the skin. I love it. These are just double-ended brushes. This is my, this is my, um, what I use for my brows. It's by Essence. It's a Make Me Brow. I love it. These are just double-ended brushes. This is the tape that I use in my videos to give me that sharp line. Let's start. This is brand new. This I just ordered and I got. I haven't shown this off, so I figured I'd show it off today. This is brand new. I got another one just like this holding all my lippies. So, if you're wondering where this is, up here I have some of my black eyeliners. This is the other thing I use for my brows. It's the Make Me Brow. It's just like the Gimme Brow. And then these are some of my black eyeliners I like. 
This is by the Buxom. This is amazing. I love this one. It's so pigmented. Then it's the Tartiest by by um, Tarte. The pencil and the liquid brow, the liquid eyeliner. This one, I don't know what the brand is. This came in the mixery box, but it's an eyeliner, and I, it's okay. These are some of my pencils and some utensils I use for, like, facials and... <coughs> excuse me. This is a concealer brush. This is for eyebrows. This I just use for little detail things. This is for my face masks. This is to um, get, like, at the bottom of the serums or, like, for gems or stuff. And then this is a pencil. And then this is for lip scrubs. <coughs> excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. These are, this is a hand lotion and the rest of these are um, primers. This is the Mega Glow Serum Base Primer. I love this one. This one I've had for a very long time. It's the MAC Prep and Prime. I've had this for since the very beginning, if you've been with me that long. This is the Glow Boosting Pore Minimizing Primer. I haven't, you've only used this once. It's, okay. it's pretty good, I like it. This one's okay. This is for one of my drying bases. It's the Master Hydrating Primer. This one's okay. This one's pretty good. This one's pretty illuminating. How I get it? It's illuminating primer. This one's my favorite. It's the Redness Correcting Primer. This hides all my redness for my light foundations. Then all right here is my lippies. This one right here is by... Um, Bella L. I can't pronounce that, but that's who it's by. It's as beautiful. Here, hold on. It's this beautiful creamy color. I love this lipstick. This is my favorite. That's why it's up here. And it fits, so it's like perfect. These two are by Tarte. They're the rainforest of the sea. They're and the shade Sundays and popsicle this is a lip oil that's tinted I got this in an ipsy I love this lip oil then these are my Lorac and this one too this came in a set I got at um at the rack and then these are my Rimmel Katie lipsticks I love these lipsticks. These are my one of my favorite, aside from this one. But I love these. They're creamy. This first drawer are some more liquid liners. These are my... These are my gold... These are, these are the Ulta ones, and they're more of my black. Like, I also have um, this one by Sugar. This one's okay. I also have... This one, this one's a brown. Wait, no, this one's not brown. Where's the other one that's brown? One of these are brown. Wait a minute. One of these are brown. One of these are brown. I don't remember which one. Then I have this one's okay. This one's a tattoo liner by T KVD. This one's okay. Then I also have um, a liquid liner by Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. This one's pretty good. This one already went over. Oh, and this is the other one. This is the other liquid liner I have. It's the NYX vinyl. This one's pretty good. This drawer. This is the one. This one's brown. This one is. See, this one's brown. It's the Epic liner. These are all my colored liners. And you can see all the colors. This one's all my long lipsticks, like the ColourPop ones. All these white ones are ColourPop. These two are by, I don't know if you can see that, by Nude 6. Here's an Avon. 
Here's the NARS. And these other three are Maybelline. I love those. These, I want to get the whole set of these. These are the e.l.f. Sheer Sticks. I love these. I'm obsessed with those. I want to get the rest of those. This first drawer is all my... Here, let me take it out. This first drawer, actually, I'm going to sit down. This first drawer is all my cream and pigments. I remember I used to have a whole drawer filled with these, but a lot of them expired. So, I don't have a whole drawer of them now. I have, these are my Stila's. These are my creams. This is all the Stila's I have left that are not dried up and gone bad. Um, I don't know if I'm going to invest in any more because they're pretty expensive and they don't last very long. Because one I had just recently bought this month and it was already drying up and it's like, I just bought this. It's like, what the heck? So, you might want to check your Stila glitter eyeshadows. Now I will invest in like the creamier shadows because the creamier ones I just got, like the creamy, sh the shimmer and glow, these are still good. These are more creamy based. The glitter ones are not that long lasting. I have two of the pure metal Via ones. These were given to me. I have this one. This one was, this one I got in the mystery box. This is a eye fixation shadow stick. I have a um, Went Wild. No, no, this is a Went Wild. This is, yeah, this is a Went Wild. It's a Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Eyeshadow. These are all um, Hard Candy or Makeup Revolution. These are, um, this is a shadow. This is by Tarte. That's what the shade looks like. This is a cream shadow, but I use it as a liner. It's by Revolution. This is still very creamy. These are all my pigments. This is by NYX. This is purple. This is a glitter. This is by Ulta. It's gold. This is a Stephine Botonics. I got this in a Sephora, not a Sephora, at a, I think at an Ipsy. It's this gold shade. I don't really use it that much. I'm not really in the gold that much. This is another pigments by L'Oreal. It's a gray. It's, I, like, I like these pigments. Here's another L'Oreal. It's a red. Or purplish red. Here's this is an actual red. This is another L'Oreal. This is a glitter NYX. This is like a cranberry. And then this is another pigment. This is like it's it doesn't pick it up on camera, but this is like a light pink. It looks silver. But that's all that. This drawer. These are all like mini, these are like singles and mini, mini palettes. These are Sally Girls. This was given to me. This is a Maybelline Eye Studio. I love these. I love all these purples. I don't know if you guys can tell, the purple is my favorite color. These are all blooms. All these are blooms. They're kind of hard to open. I'm going to try to open one. I can't really open them. These are um, eyeshadows. This is Twinkle Twinkle. These are like purplish blues. I don't know if you can pick that up on, on the light. Lighting is like horrible. See that? This one is like greens. You can see my reflection. There we go. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can get the same lighting for this one. Isn't that pretty? I love these. This is a smash box. This is like every day for me. This is a super shadow shocks. Super shock shadow, I mean, in weenie. I love this one. I love using this as like a liner. It pops in the sh pops in the line in the in the in the lid. This is an Ipsy Nyx. This is when Ipsy collaborated with Nyx a long time ago. 
had before I was using Wit and Ipsy, because I don't even remember that. This is a Sephora shadow. It's tiny. This I don't even know why I keep, but this is this is Pixie. I like it though. It's cute. This is an old. This is um. This I got an Ipsy. It's the bomb. Here, this I know I can open. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then this is another the bomb. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. I love this. These are my these are my mini palettes. This is a Too Faced sugar cookie. I love this. Mm, it still smells so good. I love this palette. I want to start using it more often. But um, yeah, it's pretty. This is a Makeup Revolution Rocky Road. Let me see if I can open this. Aha, I can. That's what this looks like. I waited so long to get this, and uh, you have it, and I love it. This I got in the Ipsy. I'm not really that big into it. It's by The Bomb. That's what this is. It's okay. I'm not that really big into it, but I like it. It's it's okay. Okay, let me put everything back. <laughs> Problem, you take everything out, and then you got to put everything back. Okay. Oh, where goes that? Okay. Oh. Now this is another another mini palettes. Oh god, my back. This is by Pixie. This is called Desert Sunset. I love this. I don't need to open this because you can clearly see all the, you can, I bet you can guess the two shades that I like. This I just recently bought. It's a Sunbeam by Ulta. I can try to open this. Hold on a minute, guys. There we go. That's what this looks like. I saw this and I immediately drew to that pink and this blue and it's like, oh my god, I have to do a tutorial. But I already know what I'm doing with this palette. I can't wait to use it. I can't. This is the Nervina palette that I use in my video. Everybody always gravitates to these two colors. And I used all the purples and the pink. I love it. I love this palette. This is the Huda Beauty. I got this at an Ipsy. It's not really worth the hype. I don't really like it. I mean, it's okay. It's got a lot of kickback and fallout. It does. I mean, it's an okay palette. It's not worth buying. I mean, but if you, someone is giving it to you, I mean, I would take it. But it's not worth buying it. It's not. This is the Tarte. Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. That's what this looks like. I love this palette. This I just got in the Ipsy. It's the Color Rain palette. It's called... It's not called anything. I like it's okay you can't really make a look with any of these shadows together you can't these are my two NYX ultimate edit palettes I love these palettes they're awesome this is my Do Dominique cosmetics palette that I did that collabed with Ipsy I'm so happy I was able to get this I love this palette I'm obsessed with this palette. I love it. I'm so happy I was able to get it. 
I don't know what I would have done if I couldn't have gotten it. I probably would have bought it off of eBay or something. I'm trying to shut it. Hold on a minute. I probably would have bought it off of eBay and wasted my money spending. But anyway, in this drawer right here has all my face palettes. I have a mascara that I'm trying to have. I'm almost used up. I love this mascara. I have had it for a lot of years and it has served me good. And this is a this is definitely worth buying. I would definitely be buying it again. This I got as a free gift from Ulta for making for buying so much makeup. This I got at Target. It's it it, it isn't peachy makeup obsession. It's blushes. I love these. This I got is an Ipsy. It's in the bottom of your hand. You get you get five eyeshadows and three blushes and a bronzer. I love this. That's my sharpener. This is a highlighting palette that honestly isn't worth buying because it doesn't really show up that well. This I got as an Ipsy. I didn't really know what to expect when I first got it and it's like what the heck am I supposed to do with this but I've grown to really like it. The, the pigmentation on this is amazing. Huda has its hit or miss but this is definitely a hit. I love this. This I recently just got. It's the Glowing in Grease BH Cosmetic Blush and Highlighter Palette. It is definitely pigmented. It is definitely pigmented. I haven't tried the highlights yet, but the blushes are definitely worth a try. This is the Makeup Revolution Palette. This is definitely worth buying. I haven't tried this highlighter shade, but it, it's, I mean, you can see it right there. I mean, it's nice. I'm, it's definitely worth buying. This is the Sophia X highlighter palette. This is definitely worth buying. This is the contour and highlight palette. This is definitely also worth buying. Hold on, let me open this up this is definitely worth buying just for the just for the contour alone because I don't use these for contour shades I use these for bronzers because they're so cool tone they work so well on my bronze for bronzers it's amazing but they are so worth buying it's amazing okay next is the essence get cheeky I've had this for so long this is my best blush and highlight palette not my best highlight palette but my best blush palette I love this palette it, it's been through so many looks with me this is the Tarte palette it does it does a whole face this is the bronzer these are two of bronzers actually these two are bronzers blush I think that's another bullet. Uh, it, it's it's actually kind of hard to remember. Hold on a minute. Okay. Blush, 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 bronzer, bronzer. Actually, I think this is a blush. No, that's a blush. That's a blush. Blushes and bronzers. These are definitely worth buying. It didn't come out with one this year, but I, I'm glad I got this one last year. Not this past year, but the year before that. But yeah, that's what's in here is my face palettes. And this drawer is my large palettes. I have the I have the BH Cosmetic Sylvia Gina palette. I love this one. I like this one a lot. I've used this a lot. 
the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I actually had originally gotten the, the Lust Palette, but somehow I lost it or it got stolen or something. I had gotten it for Christmas and it got stolen from me or something. I don't know what originally happened to it, but it was I gotten it for Christmas and it just disappeared out of my house somehow. I don't know. I have to go out and buy it again. I got the Zodiac palette uh, for love. I got the original Zodiac palette. This is just the off-brand palette I got from like a Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. I got a Morphe. three five s and an, i got an la la girl palette yeah that's what's all in here okay and then there's just junk in that drawer now let's go over to this right here is just some more these are my mac lipsticks this is my ariana grande perfume these are my candles here's the mini fridge you guys love so much I have it on this tray because um, when I clean it out, it, you won't believe this thing gets so cold, frost builds up in this thing. It's amazing. And it's, this thing gets incredibly cold. So I only paid 50 bucks on Amazon for this thing. So it is, they're definitely affordable. So I, I mean, it's not like they're $200. So they're definitely affordable. But these are. This I had to take out of the fridge because it started getting so cold. It started freezing, so I had to take it out. This is a primer that won't fit on the shelf over there. It's a Clinique Hydrating. The lady said I could use this as a primer, so I use sometimes I use it as a primer. These are my Tatcha creams. I'm going to use them eventually when I run out of... I have a whole bunch of other creams in there. These are just my face masks. I, I don't have room in my fridge for all of these. These are my other body mists. I have the teas, the love. This is another. Ah, this is another facial spray. It's the Sh Shake and Glow Duo Mist by L'Oreal. This is a this is a body lotion I got from the Dollar Tree. It's aromatherapy. It's relaxed. It's to help me calm down. This is crap. This is my little twirly thing. You guys seen so many times this has all my skincare and facial stuff and stuff these are all those lip glosses you guys seen so many times I love these lip glosses definitely if, if Target ever does bundle sales on makeup like I got these at Target these are the totally kissable lip glosses definitely get them because these are actually they're even though there's no there's slight pigmentation these are definitely really good I got these I ordered these. These are the Peter Tom Thomas Roth face masks. These are pretty good. These are just all like facial stuff and eye drops and stuff like that. More lipsticks. I'm probably gonna put back in my drawer. More lipsticks. More lipsticks. My sponges. My hair stuff. My toner this if you have acne i would totally invest into this this is like the best stuff for acne because it cleans your pores and is acne treatment this is amazing okay now let's this is my face these are my facial brushes this is where all of more lipsticks these are these two are primers this is my everyday eyeshadow palette that i use every day until i use it up and then i'm going to move on to another one this is highlighters these are liquid highlighters except this this is for this is a cream cream blush this is the away we glow liquid highlighter this is a Marc Jacobs sample this is a petals bay invasion in the shade in the shade pearl bay no in the shade baby pink clam this is this is another, this is, this is also, um, let's move this over. This is also, um, this is for blush. This is, a, this is a cheap tint. This is orgasm, liquid orgasm. This is 
Cover Effects liquid highlighter sample. It is one of my samples. This is more liquid liner. These are Wet n Wild. These are Essence. These are backup mascaras. I have more mascaras back here, like on the back row right here. I have two right here and two right here. Those are the ones I'm trying to use, and then these are ones I just got for Christmas or just like this month. So these are the ones I'm trying not to use, and the ones back there I'm trying to use. These are a bunch of lippies. This is chapstick. These are I just got these recently in a mystery box. They're a bunch of clear lip glosses. This is a lip cream. This I just got recently. This was given to me. It's by Lorac. Okay. This is these are my this is my Stila set. This came in a gift set like two years ago. I know you're like, oh, that's two years ago, but this is actually still really good. They still I've worn these for days. Not four days, but I have worn these in recent days, and these are still good. Same thing with these, only these are the Tarte H2O glosses, and these are still good, and I still wear these. These are good. These are my glosses. I have recently just cleaned these out, so, and all these new, I've... These... So, these are all my pinks, and oranges, and reds. Yes, I have a lot. I love pink. There's a lot in there. See, it's full. See, this is the same. This is just like the same one as on the other side. These are my nudes. These are my nudes. Yep, there's not as many, but nudes okay. And these are my darks or my purples. Like dark reds, dark reds, dark purples, or blues, or blacks. Alright, now we can get into this. Alright, first drawer. Typical drawer. Foundation. I have up here, I have my concealers. I have my Too Faced Born This Way. I've actually been taking it easy on this because I'm running out and I can't afford to buy another one because I'm, I'm like trying to chill on buying so much makeup because I've actually I've been buying a lot of palettes, but I might go out and just buy another one of this one just so I have it. I have the Infallible Full Wear. This one you have to be careful about because once you place it, you have to hurry up, set it, because it will definitely crease. I have this one. This one I use every day. It's my Florence. I love this one. This one is my Morphe. This one I love cutting the crease with because I love the applicator. It's easy to apply. This one, I am falling in love with it so much. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I love it. This one is a, this one's pretty good. This one's like a dupe for this one. It's almost like a dupe or the sharp tape or the sharp tape. I've heard that. And so it's pretty good. It's the e.l.f. Camo Conceal. This one, I love this one too. It's the uh, Essence Camouflage. I recently just did a look on that. It's amazing. This is another concealer I have. It's a tube. It's the Conceal RX. It's not a normal brand. I know nobody knows what that is. But this is this is a stick foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hill. I got this at a TJ Maxx. This I got in Ipsy. It's the Wonder Beauty foundation this one i don't use that much it's not i'm not too crazy about it this is my pacifica all all light foundation this is florence i like this one this is the infallible pro glow i figured i had a lot of matte foundation so i figured i'd get a pro glow one so this one this one's actually pretty good this was the bear with me. This one I like to wear when I'm wearing when I just want light coverage and I don't want to really wear much. This one's my ride or die will never part with ever foundation. This is the best foundation I've ever used in my life. I love this foundation so much. I don't care what I don't know what negativity anyone has to say about this, but this is the best foundation I've ever had in my life. This is like my best friend. I love her. I love this foundation. 
This is another foundation that I love that I will repurchase. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. This one I also love so much. It's a Tarte Amazing Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This will cover anything you put at it, you put in front of it. This is another. This is the other color one I will cover. I will repurchase. It's a Born This Way Full Coverage Foundation. I love this foundation. I neglected it a while because, again, it's expensive. This one is powders. This is the Ciate London um, Extraordinaire Powder. It's white. I've been using this a lot. This is the Super Stay Maybelline Full Coverage F Complete Foundation Powder. I use this when I want light foundation. When I want, when I actually don't want to wear any foundation, I've been using this, or I've been using the Bare Mineral Bare Pro Foundation Powder. I found this at a TJ Maxx. It, this was I got this for a really good steal. I like these two are my favorite. Well, these are the only two I have. This one I have the I also have this. It's the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This one's pretty good. I also have the Rimmel London Stay Matte powders powder. This one's pretty good too. I like these. These are my powders. I also have the e.l.f. high definition powder. I love this powder. This is really good for setting under the eyes. It helps you not to crease. This is really good. It helps you also get the sh that sharp line. This I just have to like travel with. This is enough. I love all my powders, so I'm gonna say I love them all. This is the Eye I Heart Revolution powder. This is in the shade Peach. I like this one a lot. This one's my favorite though. It's the Wet n Wild Photo, Fig Photo Focus Translucent Powder. This one will give you coverage even when there is no coverage. Next drawer is bronzers. This is the, Re the Revolution Powder Blush. I'm sorry, I thought this was a bronzer. This should be in the blush drawer. This looks like a bronzer because it's brown. But this is a blush. Okay. Okay. The let's move on to a bronzer. The Physician Former Butter Bronzer. This is actually really good. I got this as a sample size at Target because it was on say it was part of a deal. I like this one a lot. This I got as an Ipsy. It's a GG Gorgeous Bronzer. It's once it's a duo bronzer, that's right. It looks like this. I love this bronzer. I also have the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz. That one's okay. I also have this one. I got this as a as an Ipsy. It's a Space Castle bronzer. This one's my favorite. It's the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer. They have another one just like this. It's a big. It's a big. It's a big round one. It's a Essence bronzer I want to get it I want to try it this is a sugar one it's a bronzer it's in the shade woody wonder and I also have a co I have a color pop coconut beach bronzer those are my bronzers next is blushes now we can move on to this it's a revel it's a revolution powder bron blush it's in the shade Dare to Bear. I also have a, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, I'm just gonna butcher it. Oh God. This blush is in the shade Dare to Bear. It's a very neutral blush. This is the blush drawer. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush. This is also a very neutral blush. It's in the Sage Satin Coral. This is, in, this is uh, the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. 
This is in the shade, um, here it is, medium mauve. As you can see, this is a very peachy pink. This is a NARS blush. It's in the shade here. Huh? This is the shade. Here, I'll show it for you guys. This is a very dark blush, I think. I think. Wait, I'm opening the wrong. Here we go. It's a very dark blush. This is my very first ever blush. This is what got me into blush. This one right here. This is another. This is an essence. This is another essence blush. This is a mosaic blush. This is in the shade very connection. This is a very pinky blush. This is a color block. Color pop blush. This is in the shade floating lights. Here I'll show you this shade. This is a very pinky blush. I like the shades. The shade. This is a NYX blush. This is the land of the lollies. This is in the shade. Um, I can't pronounce the shade. The shade is right here. Okay, I'll show you this one too. That's a very rosy blush. And um, this is this blush. Here, I'll show you this blush. There's that one. But this is, oh, and then this palette. This I got an Ipsy. This is the Betty Bloop, Betty Boop blush. Here, I'll try to, I hope this is easy to open. It's them. Yep. These are my blushes. That's that. The next drawer is highlights. Here. This is the Physician Formers highlight. That's what this looks like. Very shiny. I like this highlight. This is my very first highlight. This is the Ciate Moon Dust highlight. In the, it's in the shade Moon Dust. I like the love this highlight. This is Ibby highlight. It's in the shade Pink Pearl. Here, I'll show this to you guys. It's very shimmery. I've had this forever. This is a NYX Paradise Fluff highlight. It's in the shade Illuminator. It's like a champagne -y. This one's okay. This one I just recently got. It's a it's a creamy highlight. It's a cream based highlight. It's this. Then I have this Wet n Wild highlight. I actually have three Wet n Wild highlights. I have this one in the shade Precious Petals. Then I have this one in Crown Crown of My Canopy. It's like a golden one. Then I have a duo one in the shade Highlight Bling. This one's my favorite. Then I have two palettes. I have a sleek makeup highlighting palette. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this looks like. But yeah, this is what this looks like. And then I have an Ofra one I got from Ipsy. The other palette was given to me. But that's what this 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 middle shade is a blush. This shade right here is a blush, and then these other two are highlights, but I keep it in my highlight drawer. But yeah, that's, oh, and then I have this one right here. Here, I'll show this to you guys. I used this in my recent, um, uh, um, Instagram look. It comes out really purpley. Next, we're getting the lipsticks. I know I don't have very many right here, but, um, these are wet and wild. These are wet and wild. This is Make a Revolution. These are MAC. That's Urban Decay. That's Stila. That's Tarte. That's Maybelline. That's Maybelline. That's a, um, that's, um, that's a, this, that's this brand. I can't pronounce that name. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I think I'm using, there it is. That, that that's the name of the brand. I got this because I have flamingos on it. I'm, like, obsessed with flamingos. Then this is a, um, a smash box that's in this shade. Then um this is a uh, makeup forever. Then um this one right here is a uh, nature's nature's curtail. Then this is a Sephora. This is a wet and wild. This is a sample Sephora. This is a um beauty by pop sugar. 
and then this is also a Sephora and all my lipsticks my, all my other lipsticks are everywhere else like in the other makeup case or on top of the swirly thing then this is palettes I have um a BI beauty beauty Infu intuition rockstar palette I have these are the Jaclyn Hill vault palettes I don't have all of them I don't really want all of them these are the only ones that I want want I have two of the essence palettes I have this one it's the spiritual gang spiritual gangster Here. It looks like this I love this palette then I have I'm with the band looks like this I like this palette too these are very pigmented actually here I'm gonna take all of these out and then I'm gonna put them back in as I go I can I can do it <sighs> nope it fell okay let's start from the beginning I have the uh, the Masquerade by by um, Givenchy, not Givenchy, it's by Juvia's Palace. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this looks like, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. This is what it looks like. I haven't used this yet. I'm going to use this, in, not in my next tutorial, but in like uh, in a in a tutorial pretty soon. Then I have. The Warrior 3 by Juvia's Palace. You guys see me use this. I've used this in a, in, a, in a tutorial. That's what this looks like. Then I have the Shen XO Remix Palette. That's a double sided palette. I'm not going to open that one yet though. Then I have... Then I have... This is my um, Z Palette. I got this in an Ipsy. It came with these four shades. Then I have a ColourPop Element of Surprise. This is what it looks like. Then I have the Ultra Q. This is the ColourPop collaboration with Ulta. I got this on clearance. I was so lucky. I love this palette. Then I got the Catrice palette. This is, I'm not going to open that because you can clearly see what it looks like. Then I have this. I got an Ipsy. That's what it looks like. It's okay. I was kind of disappointed in it. I mean, Ipsy only gets some pretty good ones, but this one was kind of like disappointing. Then I have the Makeup Revolution palette. This one is in the shade um, Reload It. Yeah. Then I got um, the LA Wonder and Lust palette. That's what it looks like. Then I got the Maybelline City Kicks Urban Light Palette. Then I got the Too Faced uh, Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. That's what this looks like. And this one actually goes in the back of it. Then I have the NYX Mystic Petals palette. I'm going to get the other one of this next month. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a video on it. Actually. Then I have ColourPop. It's my pleasure palette. Looks like that. I'm going to get the also. Also, I'm going to get. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm gonna get the um the I lie like you a lot, and I'm gonna get the strawberry palette. And I have the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. I love this palette. This one's gonna be my favorite one until I get the um it the lie like you a lot. This one and the lie like you a lot is my favorite one. Even though I haven't tried the lie like you a lot palette, I'm dying to try that one. And I don't think we're not. We have more palettes we do we have more palettes okay so we're not done
Okay. All right. Next is. I got this at a five and below. It's a soft glam palette. It looks like this. The pigmentation is amazing. I gotta use this in the tutorial to show you guys, but I love this palette. Next is my favorite palette of all time is the Galaxy B by BH Cosmetics. I love this palette. This has got to be my favorite palette I ever own. This is the best palette I have. Um, like I said, this is my favorite palette. Then I have the Essence Eye Flirt Party Look Palette. This one's okay. Sorry about the angle, guys. That's what it looks like. The pigmentation's okay on this one. Then we have the Too Faced. Um, it's... I forgot what this one's exactly called, like, called, but it's like a throwback palette, but, um, it's a throwback palette, it's like the then and now palette or something like that, um, but this is what it looks like, then we have the Nomad palette, I got this as an Ipsy, I actually really like this palette, Yes, I got this as an Ipsy. I was like astonished by the size of it. It's, this is actually really good. Oh, good thing it. Hold on. Okay. Then we have the Rose Quartz palette. I got this again out of five and below. I only paid five dollars for it. It looks like this. It's supposed to be a dupe off of one of the Huda Beauty's palettes, but I don't know which one. I'm this. Um, this is what that palette looks like. This is great pigmentation. Then I have my Naked 3 palette. Everybody should know what this looks like. This is like, I love this palette. I think this is my first high-end palette. Then I have the Subculture by A ABH by ABH. It's really rough. It's been through a lot, as you can tell. But I love this. This is my ride or die palette. Then I have this one, the prison palette. I haven't used it. It was given to me. It was, I didn't buy it. Then I have the Sweet Peach by Too Faced. I love this palette. I don't use it that much because I just don't. Then I have this cargo palette. This is in the shade Chill in the Six. This is these are really good palettes. These are these retail for like thirty six dollars, and I get them from um, TJ Maxx for sixteen bucks. Here's another cargo palette. This is Tokyo in the Bloom. These are again really good palettes. I love these palettes. Then I have this I Heart Revolution. This one is um, Tasty Peach. Looks like this. It's beautiful. Then I have this one, the Avocado one. Again, by I Heart Revolution. And it looks like this. Um, and that's everything. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.